Hey Patriots, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Student Neuritis. I'm Jaslyn and I'm here with Samantha. And we also have a special <laughs> guest. Uh, Emmanuel. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so um, how how is your senior year treating you so far? So far it's pretty good. My grades are good, so they, they're headed on the right path either way, so yeah. Uh, can you, like, <laughs> elaborate on that? Oh, um, uh, yeah, my senior year is pretty great. Water polo is going pretty well as well. So, yeah, we have a pretty good season so far. We've beaten Paloma, so we haven't been able to do that in a while. So that's good. Mm, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Congrats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Anyways, so what are some things that you would want to do, like you're looking forward to doing this year? Probably all the senior activities that they have planned for us. Like, yeah. specifically? <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to prom. Prom should be fun, yeah. It's going to be a night to remember. It's going <laughs> to be my first prom that I've gone to. So, yeah. A night to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a night to remember. That's fun. Anything else? Like uh, what other senior activities? Senior night, I guess, for water polo. When we get senior night, um, I'm looking forward to that. And, yeah, wondering who gets MVP of our team. <laughs> mm, that's going to be Is that a real thing? Yeah, most yeah. valued player. Who do you think it's going to be? Either, I think it's going to be Jacob. Jacob or Caden. Okay, what about yourself? Like, even <laughs> I, I would have been like me. Oh Where's yeah. the confidence? Uh, okay, yeah, I guess. I mean, I have a good chance of getting it as well. It all just depends on how... Um, our coach looks at us and like how we how we handle certain situations in a game. So I think it's just all about the mentality on who's um, the better player mentally and physically in the water. Mm. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So you mentioned you play water polo. Are you involved in like any other clubs, or do you play any other sport like at Heritage? Um. Yeah, I just do water polo and swim. I guess. Yeah. Swim's gone. Uh, I don't really like swim that much, but I mean, our relay. So it's four person relay, obviously, and um, we're two seconds off from beating our old school's record or our old friends' record. Your old school's record. Yeah, no, your it old came out. It, <laughs> it came out. The <laughs> it came out the wrong way. Um, our old friends' record. Yeah. I forgot who it was, but I know Eric is one of them. You guys probably don't know him. Yeah, I don't know him. You know? Yeah. No, I don't know him. Yeah, Eric? I've never heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they, ha- they have the relay record right now, so we're hoping to beat that. Who, um, who is we? Like, you said there's four, it's right? It's me, Jacob, who else? Samir, and Trey. And what are you doing to accomplish that goal? Honestly, just more endurance, focusing on my strokes, getting faster. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Would <What>? you say? <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> wait. Okay. So, is there like a like a big difference like physically from swim and polo? Um, there is in a sense because most water polo is you're swimming constantly. Same thing with swim, obviously. But like swim, it's like I don't know how to say it. It's like a um, you already know what you're gonna swim. So, like, it's easier to um, prepare for that. In water polo, you don't really know how much you're going to swim. It's whoever has the ball. So, it could be, depending on, like, who we play against as well for swim, it just depends on a lot of factors. Mm-hmm. And would you say that, because you're on varsity, right? For water polo, yeah. Right. For swim, we still have to determine that. Okay, so for water polo. Do you feel like that puts more stress since you're on varsity? Um, no, not necessarily because I've always had fun with water polo. I've never looked at it very – I'm a competitive person, but, like, I've always looked at the sport with, like, to, like, just go into it and have fun more than, like, yeah, I'm competitive in it, but it's more in a sense of having fun. Does that make sense? So it's like a hobby. Yeah, it's more like a hobby. I'd love to do it in college as well, but, I mean, if I can, yeah. And what are you doing to do that? Like, <laughs> what college? Uh, right now I'm just going to community college. I'm thinking about RCC or maybe Polymar. I'm not sure. 
MSJC is for sure no because they don't have water polo. So and I'd like to pursue water polo. I've done it all four years, so I'd like to keep it going. Is there a reason that you're just like community college? You don't want to try for anything else higher? <laughs> Mostly because of my grades. <laughs> I d- what's wrong with your grades? Yeah, <laughs> what's your grades? Um, they're not the best. But not you just said at the beginning that they were pretty good. And they were on oh, track. that is true. This <laughs> year, this year, they are good. But previous years, I didn't do very well. So that's... Mm. And why do you think you didn't do well? Because <laughs> I didn't try, <laughs> to be honest. Why? I don't know. But I thought you... Weren't you an avid? Yeah, freshman year. What happened? Mm, yeah. I moved sophomore year. And then for avid over there in Vista, it was more of a... Um, extracurricular it wasn't a class so i would have to go after school and miss water polo practice for avid and um i just like playing water polo a lot so that and my parents picking me up as well they couldn't really pick me up after school so yeah wait so because they couldn't pick you up after school that made <laughs> no your grades okay bad? No, no, no 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 okay I was talking about my situation sophomore year, why I wasn't in oh, avid. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. But right, my right. grades, that's a different story. That was all on me. Well, that's what we were talking about. Really? No, but then we moved to avid because yeah. you said grades and then avid. Because, like, oh, normally right, avid right, right, keeps right, your grades, right, like, right, in line. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, I, the grades were my fault. <laughs> grades were my fault. I could have done it. I just procrastinated way too much. The deadlines hit, and I couldn't really do anything to fix them. Oh, I could have done something to fix them, In obviously. all your classes, or was it just, like, a specific one? It was all my classes. Yeah, I, yeah. S- I thought you were going to just be like, oh, yeah, math was no. pretty hard. Yeah. Sophomore yeah. year, I barely passed. And then um, I passed, obviously, enough to play water polo. So I got the 2.0 I needed. And then um, junior year, we all went online, and that's when I d- my parents decided to move back. So, um, yeah, I didn't really like online. It, um, I don't know. I just didn't feel like there was, like, a stability there for me to, like, a teacher to be, like, right there and be, like, oh, do your work or, like, give me assignments. So it just made it really hard. And, yeah, I just played video games all day. I mean, I would join my classes, <laughs> but I wouldn't, really, I wouldn't really pay attention. Did you like online? Yeah. It had good grades. I liked <laughs> it. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. I, don't I know. didn't really like it. I mean, I passed, like, all my classes. That was, like, yeah, the same. best year I ever had. Really? Same. Yeah. I'm Damn. pretty good at, like, teaching myself, like, when I need to. Oh. Yeah, I did great in chem. <laughs> mm. I chem did was great. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I am not a good person to be teaching myself stuff. I'm <laughs> I'm very forgetful. So it's not very – I'm not very a helpful person to go to for, like, homework and stuff. Do you think that if you weren't in water polo, your grades would be worse? Wait, can you repeat that? Do you like if you weren't in water polo? Do you think your grades would be worse? Oh, significantly, yeah. Really? I think they'd get a so lot they're worse. Already bad, but they're no. Right now, bad. I have <laughs> right now I have a three point three. Is there oh, okay. a reason this semester? Wait, like what changed from like last year? Not like last year. Let's not use last year because we were online. But right. let's say sophomore year. What um, changed between sophomore year and senior year that you decided to get your grades up? Me wanting to graduate. I didn't want to be a super senior and stay here, so I was just like, it was either pass my classes or stay here another year. So, yeah, that that and college. I want to go to college and, like, experience those four years, have fun. So, yeah. Would you say that that's what's, like, keeping you motivated is, oh, like, yeah. college? Yeah, definitely college. Um, college, sports, my parents, obviously, things like that. Would you say that you have surviving? Are you? Would you <laughs> say that you're surviving senioritis? For the most part, yeah. And one of my gla- one of my classes is slipping right now, but I'm working on getting it up right now. What is it? English. Who Who's you your teacher? Yeah, who do you Ms. have? Miss Ramiro. I don't have her. Oh, I don't have her either. Yeah. I would help you, but I don't know. Yeah. It's just mostly assignments that I need to do. I'm procrastinating again. <laughs> I just need to stop. Yeah. Would you? Would you say you're surviving? I think barely. I'm, like, barely hanging on. Hanging in there? Yeah. (laughs) Like, it's not, like, that I want to give up, but it's, like, I'm already getting tired. Like, I'm already drained, and I don't want to, I don't know, Avid's killing me. How about you? Same. Same. Same? Yeah. (laughs) Like, 
Yeah, it's just a lot. Like it's applic like there's so many things you have to <laughs> fill out. Like for what? Honestly. Yeah. It's like application after application, and then we have FAFSA, and then we have the FSA ID. Like it's just no, it's so much. Did you do that stuff already? Um, not my FAFSA yet. I haven't done that, but I've applied to three colleges. I don't know. I think you skipped some stuff. I <laughs> probably <laughs> did, but she, um, for college kickoff, our teacher just um, put on a video for something. I forgot what it was. But, um, so you weren't paying attention. Did you make the ID? Because I think oh that's yeah, you I did make the ID. Yeah. I did make yeah, the ID. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then that's how. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I applied for three colleges. I applied for MSJC, but then the same day I was like, uh, they kind of don't have water polo. So, like, I w- that kind of got off the table already, but I'm just using it for, like, a last last case scenario for some reason, but, yeah. Like I'm a safety school? Yeah. Like just in case? But I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to either go to RCC, most likely RCC because of how close it is, mm-hmm. and I don't have to commute that far, but um, Palomar's always on the table, you know? So, so you're not one of those seniors that wants to, like, live six hours away? Nah. Really? I like living here. It's it's kind of peaceful. Like with your parents and stuff? Yeah, I don't really fight with my parents. Not anymore. I used to fight with them a lot. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I used to ha- have arguments and stuff. So not anymore. I, I take, I'm pretty chill with my parents now. So, like, you wouldn't I, don't, I just close. don't mind it. What happened? I said you wouldn't want to live close. It's not a, I think, okay, I love living at home, and, like, I have a great relationship with both my parents and, like, my siblings and that, but, um, I just want to, oh, my mom's going to watch this, she's going to yell at me. I want to be able to, like, say that, like, I lived on my own and that, like, I did it, you mm-hmm. know? So, like, right now, um, I'm getting looked at by Laverne, so they're probably going to recruit me, so if and when that does happen, it's only an hour away, so that's not that bad, and I could still, like, make the drive, like, on the weekends or something. So yeah. that's, like, because at first I wanted to go, like, out of state. Like, I didn't want to, like, live in California anymore. But that, like, after I thought about it, I couldn't leave. Like, I just can't do it. How yeah. About well, I'm applying to, like, some UCs mm-hmm. and um, the San Diego one, the Cal State. Mm-hmm. But I'm also going to apply to um, RCC, too, just in case. Because I don't know. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to move out. And then I know last minute I'm going to be like, never mind, I'm staying <laughs> home. I'm not going all the way over there. Right. It's stressful. Yeah, I agree. It's scary. Yeah. I think it would be fun, though, like, living on your own and, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess, but, like, you're just, I don't know, like, you're literally by yourself. Like, yeah. Like, you feel far. Well, like, the UCs that, like, offer the um, astrophysics is really far. Like, none of them are close. Mm-hmm. I have to go all the way far. <laughs> so sad. So speaking about college, what do you guys want to do? Oh, you're asking us the questions now? Oh, yeah? I mean, like, might as well. <laughs> uh, I want to be a vet, so um, I would major in animal science, and then I would minor in um, probably plant and animal, just so that way I can have that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really know what career, but I wanted to major in astronomy. But then when I was doing the applications, it was like astrophysics or something, so I guess I have to major in that. Nice. Yep. Sounds interesting. And it you? Is, it's business. Space. I just want to major. I'm going to major in business. I'm going to get my, um, what I'm planning on doing is getting my associates at community college and then from there transferring to a UC. So, yeah. And what do you want to do, like, career-wise? Do you know yet? Um, my parents currently, they own a business. So mm-hmm. I was thinking about either taking over their business or starting my own business. I'm not sure what yet, but, um, yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Do you have any other questions for us? Yeah, that's all the questions we have for you. Yeah. So if you want to ask us anything. Anything, um, because we're so interesting. There's yeah. so many questions. That <laughs> we're like, <laughs> yeah. Literally. So many to think of. Yeah. Exactly, um, go ahead, ask away, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Um, what made you guys take this class? I was put in it my freshman year, and I just stayed in it. Um, I didn't want to take drama, <laughs> no offense to, like, the drama people, <laughs> but I didn't like it in middle school, so I was like, video production it is, so that's how I got stuck in here. Yeah, so what happened was, um, I guess for middle school, you were supposed to choose, like, two electives, mm-hmm. yeah, and I only chose AVID, so I didn't choose two, and then they just placed me in here, and then I'm like, I started to, like, really like the teacher talent art, because he was, like, really nice and cool, 
And then, yeah, so here I am, three, four years later. Yep, nice. four years. Still in the class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. guy sounds so I- unenthusiastic about it. No, we are we really enthusiastic. always sound like this, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. we're great. Right. So right, right. Right. Obviously. <laughs> so, any other questions? Um. <laughs> Literally anything. Any plans for Halloween? Uh, <laughs> next question. Uh, I don't know yet. Probably nothing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah, I have some plans. I guess. <laughs> you? Yeah, I might. I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't Still know yet. Undecided. Yeah. Still have to plan some things out if I do want to do something. Right. My mom does not. Um, my parents, mostly my mom. She, I don't know about my dad. I haven't really talked to him about it. But my mom, um, she just doesn't celebrate Halloween. So, yeah. So, every year, yeah, every year except for last year, I have not dressed up. Well, I've dressed up, but I've never been able to go out because my mom's. She she just doesn't want us to go out. She she's like, oh, there there could be things in the candy. The candy could be laced or stuff like that. So she's mm-hmm. just like, I'd rather keep you guys inside. And then she all she does is just buy us a big bag of candy <laughs> and <I> we <laughs> just watch movies. I mean, she has good reason for it. They're like, yeah, people now. yeah. That's now, like now that I'm older, I can realize that. But like when I was like twelve, ten, I'm like, but mom, I want to go trick or treating. Like, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I haven't went out. I just lost interest in Halloween. No, actually, well, I used I always went trick or treating. Really? When I used to live over there with my cousin. Yeah, we used to always go together. And one time they were like, "Oh, say cheese," and we're smiling, and there was like ghosts in the background, and I was like, "Are you serious?" Yeah, I don't know. I have another. Why didn't you bring this up later, earlier? Could have had a con. I don't know. I forgot. Just remember right now because <laughs> the topic of Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I think that's all. Yeah, that's thanks all for joining have. us. Thank, Thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is the third episode of Surviving Senioritis. Thank you for watching. I'm Sam. And I'm Jaslyn. Tune in next time. Thanks, yes. guys. Hey guys, my name is Jaslyn. And I'm Sam. And you guys should tune in to our new episode of Surviving Senioritis. It's episode three and we have a special guest again. Yes. So go watch it. Yep.